What's up good people of YouTube? This is Adam with the Ackleberry. And I was absolutely bullied into making this video. You know who you are. I was bullied and my arm was twisted. <laughs> no, not really guys, but here's the deal. I have to make an update because my trip is coming up that I've been talking about. Uh, well, I mean, tomorrow's my last day of work. And uh, so Friday, uh, I'm leaving out early Friday morning. I don't know if you guys can hear through that wind, but I'll try to pause a little bit if it gets to whipping, whipping around. But anyways, I'm leaving Friday morning, and so I'm just about as excited as a, as a kid on Christmas morning. I, I really am. And um, so I got to thinking, you know, uh, a lot of times I think, no, not a lot of times, but <laughs> for me personally, this trip, I, I really wanted to talk about on this video what I expect uh, is going gonna, is gonna to happen. And the first thing I want to talk about is the whole gambit and the whole uh, roller coaster of emotions that's going to take place on, on a trip of this magnitude for somebody like me. Now, most of you know, most of you guys know that my I have to fly out uh, to the eastern side of the United States. I live smack in the middle, or what we'd call central, uh, in Missouri, and I'm actually more in the central uh, Midwest, I guess, of, of Missouri. So I got to fly clear over to the Carolinas, which is going to be a blast. And uh, so that's going to take me a lot longer than just some of the guys who are driving about an hour, hour and a half. So this trip is a little bit bigger for me, uh, especially since I haven't done them, than it is for some of the guys that are going to be local. And so I suspect that there's going to be a whole gambit of emotions. Now take my man card away if you want to. Skip this section on the emotional part. Um, but it is real. And so I want to talk to you guys about real things. And so I kind of wrote down some of the notes and, and listed the emotions kind of in the order I expect them uh, to play out. And so here we go. So let's just get it going. The first thing that I wrote down is the excitement. That's pretty much the emotion that I'm in now and have been for the past several weeks. And I want to mix in there a little bit of nervousness. I want to put excitement slash nervousness because I think that the two of them sometimes are hard to uh, decipher. Uh, I'm definitely nervous about the airplane trip. I haven't flown for a long time. I've talked about that before, but I'm also excited about it. And I don't know which one's bigger, the nervousness or the excitement. Um, I think the power of the airplanes taking off is incredible. It's just flat amazing for me. And so, um, but it's also a little nerve wracking because there have been planes that have went down, okay? We could just pretend that they don't, but the reality is, is that they do. So right now I'm in excitement slash nervousness. The second thing that's going to happen, the second emotion that's going to probably happen is sadness, obviously. Because probably for the first time since I've been married or even had kids, I will be leaving them for somewhere around 9, 10 days. I don't exactly remember what it is. but um, And I've never been away from my wife that long, and I've never been away from my kids or my little girl for that long. And so obviously there's going to be a little bit of sadness uh, that, that, that plays a part uh, as far as that goes. I'm going to miss them. Um, I'm probably more than I think I'm going to miss them. Um, but that, that's just the reality there and somebody's going to have to explain to Amelia why daddy's not there and days keep going by and daddy's not there. She's almost, she's four, but she may not catch on to that um, as well as some of the, the bigger kids do. And of course I'll miss my wife too. I haven't been away from her near that long. Um, I don't even know how she's going to react to it. She doesn't know and uh, that's going to be a new experience as well. So um, the next thing I think that's going to happen is probably uh, some fear is going to take place in, in, in probably different amounts. Um, a little concern um, uh, for my people back home, you know, when I leave my family and stuff like that, a little concern about how are they going to do, is they going to be safe, you know, because as a man and stuff, you are the protector of the home, you are the security, uh, and when you remove that element, then of course uh, you're, you're concerned about it. So a little bit of fear, but not a real big deal. Uh, the, the, and the fact that I'm going to be in new territory. There's a little bit of fear of being uh, in, in new territory, you know, new states. That I'm, I think I'm being in a total of three different places. I'm being at somebody else's mercy and somebody else's home. And even though he seems like a fantastic individual, Pete seems like just a fantastic individual. In fact, the whole group, or the guys that I've talked to, uh, fantastic people. I, I think that just talking to some of them has removed so much of the fear. Uh, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. So, uh, but again, I'm somewhere that I'm not used to thousands of miles from home. I'm not used to traveling like that. Some people is a breeze for. Um, I consider myself an introverted fellow, and so it's a challenge for me. But challenge accepted. The next thing I think is going to happen is some happiness is going to take place. Obviously, um, I, I wrote notes of uh, meeting good dudes. I, that's 
I know is going to happen. Meeting some good people. Um, I mean, I'm already feeling very welcome. They've done a great uh, job of, of, of uh, making me feel welcome. I've chatted with uh, Pete on the phone several times, and, and we've had a blast. Cut up, had some good laughs. It's just been uh, uh, wonderful. I, and the trip hasn't even started yet. Um, let's see what else did I write? Uh, the, the exper I'm going to be experiencing new things, so that, that always makes me happy, especially when it's safe experiencing safe new things and that's just going to have a level of happiness that um, you know you may not have just going through the same everyday monotonous things and stuff uh, what else did I put down here for happiness um, setting out on an adventure of course I've never done anything like this I love kayaking this is a once in a lifetime thing for me I may not ever even do it on this scale again who knows hopefully this fires me up to want to do that but even if I did do it some more maybe like three day trips and maybe not ever again on this scale and so I, and that makes me happy to even know that I have this opportunity to go and um, you know a big shout out to Pete for making this possible because in, in reality um, without his help it's it would have just been a, a thought that just kind of came and went uh, the next thing I think, uh, camaraderie, it maybe is not, obviously it's not an emotion, but if I could tuck that um, as like a little sub-emotion or something of happiness and stuff. Uh, for me, uh, you know, for Yackleberry, uh, for me, the, the reality is, is that I don't have a huge group of people like some guys do where, you know, you can always take these, go with these big uh, groups of guys out, to individuals go do these um, awesome little trips and stuff like I'm fixing to go on. And so this is a new experience for me. Usually I'm pretty much a family man at home and, and, and the things that I do is usually with family and um, always have a blast, of course, but um, I think there's, a, there's, there's definitely a difference. Uh, then hanging out with family all the time and then and going out with buddies and stuff. And I don't have all that opportunity here. And so I think the camaraderie is going to be something that is a, a, a greater experience than what I'm used to. And that's, that's going to be some happiness right there. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's going to be part of a group that's watching out for each other. You know, uh, I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, sharing life stories with each other, uh, cutting up, probably picking on each other like crazy, man. And, uh, you know, but being there and, and for each other when somebody swims, I think that's um, going to be an awesome experience. I am absolutely looking forward to that. Uh, the next thing that's going to take place uh, in motion probably be embarrassment, uh, especially if I'm swimming a lot. I mean, if I swim once or twice, maybe. Uh, but if, uh, uh, if Pete's having to floss me out of the rocks, <laughs> I might get a little embarrassed over time. Or if I'm messing up or falling out my... Uh, uh, hammock which I don't think I'm going to but it falls down or whatever you know just different things uh, you might be a little embarrassment I think it's a little bit more of a fun embarrassment like not like a humiliation type of embarrassment but I thought I'd throw that in there um, then I think it's going to turn back to um, a little bit of sadness uh, I think uh, again when I start to realize the trip is coming to an end now we're going out with a bang I mean at the end of the trip we are going to be doing whitewater rafting up in the class fours or something I don't know uh, fours fives twenties whatever it is but there's going to be some sadness knowing that after that big going out with the bank stuff that the trips come to an end because you're you know you're forming all these relationships you're having a good time and all that stuff and then you realize you you know you have to fix and go back to the real world we all know that we always all most of us get that sunday evening depression realizing that monday's coming uh so there's gonna be a little sadness with that um and realizing that that uh for me um uh, personally uh, that trip will probably never happen again potentially or that the good dudes that I got to meet and stuff um, it, There's a big pot potential I may never get to um, You know meet up with them and have a good time with the get and, and now and, and then we may I mean it may be a, a yearly thing for me it may be something I do every single year uh, You know maybe we'll make it a, a, a tradition or something and that would be fantastic um, as it stands right now but um, you know there's a potential that it just it doesn't happen again so it may be some sadness uh, when it comes that time. Uh, I think that a little bit of pride will sneak in there. Um, I think that uh, just from me making it, from experiencing uh, new levels of rapids, from overcoming, whether I swim or not, makes no difference. Just to survive through it, I think it's going to give me a new level of pride. Um, I've never been out uh, in the woods that long or even living on the river uh, out in the middle of nowhere. And I think that, um, you know, even though I got some help and stuff, but to make it through that is going to give me some pride, some confidence, which is, you know, going to turn to confidence. It's really going to hope to bring that back home and really um, inspire me to take my family out for some more outings, some longer ones, and maybe not be as uh, concerned about overnights and out in the pitch black and, and, and stuff like that. But um, so some pride. And then we're going to go back to a little bit of sadness because you're leaving, you know, like I said before, you're, you're leaving the company of, of, of good people. So, you know, there's going to be some sadness and pride mixed together is what I'm trying to say here. 
um, interweaved and stuff like that. Uh, I think that pride will kind of give way a little bit because, uh, you know, when you have these awesome trips like this and they come to an end, it sucks. Let's just be honest. It just sucks to see them end, you know? Um, but, uh, and then I think it's going to turn to being a little pissed or angry, uh, if you will. And, and I mean that in the, in, in a good sense. And what I mean by that, and it's kind of like I touched on before, is uh, when you go make good relationships, I, I assume I'm going to go and make some pretty good relationships and some, a lot of good friends. And I think it's going to kind of piss me off a little bit, you have to excuse my French, but um, that I don't have that same circle of friends back here in the small town that I live in. And so I think that's going to kind of frustrate me that I have to fly thousands of miles uh, to go meet good dudes and have um, the experience that I'm having. And as thankful as I am, uh, it is going to frustrate me when I come back and knowing that that's not set up and maybe I'll be able to set that up uh, You know, th there's always that possibility. I live in a small town and things like that, but it's, it's I wanted to include that emotion because it will be a real part of that um, And then I think we're gonna cap I'm gonna cap off the entire journey uh, going back to where I started from It's gonna come full circle the excitement of seeing um, my family again um, and I think for me and and I can't imagine what it's going to be like, you know, when I get off the plane and come back home. My little girl, it's actually her birthday. The day that I'll come back will be my little girl's four-year-old birthday. And I think it will just be uh, flawless timing and stuff. So, anyways, now that I've completely talked your all's ears off, and hopefully you've been able to, to keep up with me on this little bit of update. And, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's right around the corner. I mean, it's fixing to happen. i got to get up at 1 a.m., I think. Uh, I was telling my buddy that uh, don't expect too much out of me that night, that Friday night, because I will have been up since 1 a.m. And I'll be like excited and pumped. And you know, a lot of you know that'll wear you down just as quick, man. Being real excitement, a lot of excitement and, and fired up and stuff like that. <laughs> that'll wear you down pretty quick. That'll take some, that'll burn some calories maybe. Uh, I don't know. But uh, so I told him, you know, if we need to, when I get there, if we need to do anything that require me to think, you know, or do math, let's do that early on because uh, I might not be worth much after a while. So anyways, I'm super excited if you can't tell. Uh, like I said, like a kid on Christmas morning, uh, gosh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have thought that at age, I think I'm 38, uh, that I'd be going on a trip like this, a trip of a lifetime. Thanks for watching, guys. The wind's picking up. Hope you can hear me. My camera just fell. Hey, there you are. My camera just fell off. I told you it was windy. I told you it was windy. Let's try that again. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be taking some video of the, of the, hopefully, the airplane ride if everything goes right, and a lot of the trip and afterwards and stuff. And uh, I'd like to, I'd, I want to invite you guys to stick around uh, so you can see how that goes. Uh, we'll see y'all. Take care.